Han Sohee has been a hot topic recently once again after a few controversial statements she made and a very shocking video that circulated the internet. Most actors try to keep a low profile and have a very calculated way of presenting themselves to the outside world. They know that the media love to exaggerate things and that netizens are very critical of their every move. This causes most celebrities to have a bit of a fabricated personality, mostly out of self-protection. Sohee is actually one of the few public figures that has stayed true to herself over the years, and there's lots of people who criticize her for that. Last year, she became a global sensation after starring in Jungkook's music video for Seven. More and more people started getting interested in her and tuned in for some of her big dramas such as Nevertheless and My Name. This new wave of fame brought extra attention to her past, which included new fans digging up some of her pre-debut photos. If you know anything about Sohee, you know that she used to look completely different back in the day. Before she stepped into the limelight, she was covered in tattoos and had a very bold style. Even worse for her reputation was that she was caught smoking in a lot of the old pictures and it made many netizens frown over her. Koreans don't necessarily approve of smoking and consider it as something that's incredibly unclassy to do. Not to mention that the vibe she gave in the photos was completely the opposite of the clean-cut image an actress is required to upkeep to have her career go smooth and steady. Maintaining a very sophisticated appearance, displaying politeness, and avoiding any controversy are crucial aspects for actresses to stay well-respected within the industry. However, Sohee is known to have deviated from these norms as she's very outspoken and much more assertive than your typical Korean actress. The first time she received backlash for her looks was when she was first starting out as an actress. At the time her pre-debut pictures first started going around, she had just starred in The World of the Married. Although this drama was about an extramarital affair, Sohee's character looked very put together so it came as a shock to many viewers when they saw how different Sohee looked in real life. Keeping in mind that this was one of her first bigger roles, people were paying attention to her like hawks. Netizens were slamming her left and right, sending her malicious comments, and were even asking her how she could live with herself, knowing that those pictures were all over the tabloids. Despite this huge wave of criticism, Sohi remained calm and pretty unfazed. She let the public know that her past self is an integral part of who she is today, and that her appearance doesn't suddenly redefine who she is as a person and what she stands for. In response to all the negativity, a friend of hers chimed in to point out the ridiculous double standards of the industry. She pointed out that while it's deemed acceptable for male actors to smoke and have tattoos, it becomes a major issue when a woman does the same thing. So he expressed her gratitude to her female fans who supported her authentic self no matter what. To really show that she hasn't changed a bit over the years, so he shared her unconventional sight with the world yet again. She made headlines for boldly posting a picture of herself covered in fake tattoos on her Instagram. Of course, this made quite a few netizens frown, but luckily there were plenty of people applauding her for her fearlessness. Another issue people have with Sohi has everything to do with her habit of speaking her mind. She's not only bold with her looks, she also fiercely stands up for her beliefs. In December of last year, her latest drama, Gyeong Song Creature, had a premiere. This drama is set during World War II and touches upon a lot of very culturally sensitive topics. It stirred up quite a controversy in a lot of different areas. When the first part of the series dropped, Sohi received a lot of criticism for her supposed bad chemistry with Park Sojun. Viewers weren't satisfied with their on-screen romance and made sure to voice their annoyance. The backlash extended beyond her acting, though, as people also attacked her for her political beliefs. Given that the drama goes deep into sensitive historical topics such as Korea's independence movement, Sohee shared a picture of independence activist An Jong-Goon on her Instagram. Jong-Goon, who took the life of former Japanese Prime Minister Hirobumi Ito, is a controversial historical figure in the eyes of the Japanese. Under the post, Sohee wrote, These stories are from people of the brilliantly dark times, those who had to fight head-on against the monsters born from the dehumanizing experiments. It's about the spring of that year when embracing one another in love was the only way to become stronger. Sohee's tribute to the activist caused Japanese netizens to express their disappointment, accusing her of being anti-Japanese and sending loads of hateful comments her way. They stated she didn't take into account the feelings of her Japanese fans and attacked her for that. Luckily, Korean netizens made sure to have her back, expressing immense support and gratitude for her courageous post. They applauded her for addressing such a sensitive and challenging issue, especially as an actress. Although she received a lot of support, the headlines calling her anti-Japanese were bad publicity. So he wasn't afraid to speak her mind despite the backlash she received. Under her post, a Japanese netizen wrote, I want to watch the drama, but as a Japanese, I need to take courage. Handling this in a very composed way, So he simply commented, sad but true. Thank you for your courage anyway. Sometime later, she publicly addressed the uproar in an interview with Spa TV News. Staying true to herself and her beliefs, she said, I 
upload on my personal Instagram without calculating the impact. Still, what can I do if it's the truth? I'm grateful for your opinion, but this is my opinion. If you say it's not, you can think it's not. She made sure to let everyone know that she stands up for what she thinks is important, no matter what the public response to that will be, which is very admirable considering how brutal the industry is. Even in an earlier interview, Sohi revealed that she did a lot of research for the drama and looked into a lot of the awful things that happened back then. She publicly expressed she was horrified and that she wished she had never seen any of it. Since she's Korean, she has every right to celebrate the freedom of her people, as much as all other citizens. Although Sohi didn't necessarily need anyone to defend her, quite a lot of people did, including Professor Sok Young Duk, who teaches at Sungshin University. He believed the reaction of Japanese netizens to be absurd and explained that it's probably due to the lack of unbiased historical knowledge in Japan. He added that the backlash may have been caused by the fear that people all over the world may get exposed to uncomfortable historical facts through the globalization of Korean content. It's a known fact that the Japanese try to hide parts of their horrifying history because they're obviously not proud of it. Kyung Duk agreed that it's important to counter distorted versions of the past by promoting content that shows the full story, just like Sohee did. As you can see, her outspokenness definitely has its benefits. Unsurprisingly, Sohi became the subject of even more criticism after her paycheck for Gyeongsang Creature was revealed. In February of this year, it was reported that Sohi received around 200 million won per episode. Netizens were extremely shocked and couldn't believe she was earning that much. They wrote, if Han Sohi is getting 200 million won, then Suzy and IU must be receiving around 500 million won, right? In comparison to some of her male co-stars, Sohi doesn't even earn that much. It's also not crazy that she's one of the highest paid actresses in the industry since she has an incredibly strong grip on both international and domestic audiences. Sadly, she got into yet another controversy on March 3rd when she was caught on a video yelling at a person in the audience telling them to be quiet. She attended the Paris Fashion Week and while she was posing for photographs, someone in the audience yelled out something. At that point, Sohee's kind expression changed and she turned visibly annoyed yelling back at the person, please be quiet. This angered viewers online as it appeared like she was being very rude. However, some tried to clarify the situation and said that the person yelling in the audience was causing chaos and was disrupting the event. Despite the man causing disturbance, netizens started to point out other things in the short video which caused more turmoil online. Some claim that Sohi appeared to be extremely drunk, while others alluded to heavier accusations. However, these are all just baseless rumors and seem to be completely untrue as Sohi's face looked different due to the style of makeup she wore at the event. And the moment in the video where she puts her head down was to most likely regain her composure and put on a smile for the cameras. But this short clip doesn't help her case as unfortunately, people also still hold a grudge against her for her mother's reckless financial decisions. When Sohi first made it big in the industry, her family issues came back to haunt her. In July of 2020, it was revealed that Sohi's mother was embroiled in a scandalous debt struggle, and it was plastered all over the media. It was revealed that her mother had borrowed around 85 million won from an acquaintance and never paid it back. There was more to the story though, because it turned out that her mother had opened a bank account under Sohi's without her permission. Sohi's reputation was in shambles, and she had to reveal in a statement that she never had any idea that her mother was in this much trouble because the two weren't in any contact. She tried to pay off a portion of the debt, but it was a lot more than she could handle. She said, I thought paying off the debt on behalf of her was the only solution. It was my immature judgment and more victims seem to have suffered from that. In 2022, her mother's debt controversy became a problem yet again, and Sohee's agency revealed that she would no longer take any responsibility. Luckily, she's put all of this past her now, and she won't have to worry about it hurting her image any longer. Longer.